Welcome back. This tutorial is going to show you how to use a perspective board, perspective drawing board. Now it looks a little skewed here, but this is the perspective board, and I'm sure when you get up to it, your teacher will be able to show you where they are. Now I've had to raise the hover cam a little bit, uh, so it does look a little bit distorted to be able to fit everything that I needed to into the view. What we're going to start with is hopefully you can see. There's these little markings here. Now this one's been well used, but you can see in the black, especially in this corner, and you can see over in these corners, there's four little spots. The idea is you're meant to line your A4 page up so they fit nice and snug in that spot in the perspective board. You're then going to take some tape and tape up the corners so that that piece of paper stays in that spot on our perspective board. You could do all four, but I usually just put two on, especially if you're going to be doing multiple drawings. So you can see those there. And the next thing that I want to show you is the main tool that helps us in our perspective board. That's this one here. As you can see, it is sort of like a ruler, I guess, without any markings. And on either side, it's got these uh, little bobbles, these little black bobbles, and they actually go into these grooves. So you can see a groove there, a groove there, and a groove down there. These help us with our three-point perspectives. So as you can see, when I lock that in and I slide it around, every line I draw when it's locked into this left-hand groove actually goes back to that perspective point that we've been imagining has been there the whole time. Same on this side, on the right-hand side. Whenever I go out this way, it's heading towards a perspective point and same when we're down the bottom as well. So let me start uh, just to help you guys understand that. So what I'm going to do to start with is draw a Y. So remember when we're starting with drawing our Y. So I'm just going to pop that in. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do it nice and light as you can start to see there. So you can do a nice light one. And we've started with our Y. So that's step one. If you know step two, you can see as I place it in, we do our V, which is deciding the height of our shape, like so. And then we do our book cover, where we also decide where our shape's going to come down to. So you can see that there. So it's coming down, and it's starting to create a very nice and very structured cube, much better than our freehand ones, and that's the point of the perspective board. I'm also going to draw across this way. Now, if you've noticed what I did with that last line, I'm actually not drawing all the way across to the perspective point because at the moment I'm just drawing a cube and I don't need to